Good evening, everyone. Uh, firstly, firstly, I would like to welcome you all here tonight to Liam's uh, retirement party, Liam O'Connor's retirement party. I hope you all have a great evening here. Um, also, a special welcome for Liam's wife, Annette, his daughter, Tracy, uh, sons, Darren and Greg, daughter in law, Sonia, uh, granddaughter, Courtney and his friends who have joined us here to celebrate this great occasion. Today is a special day for Liam as it brings 22 years working with Beamish and Crawford to an end. Liam's working life began well before he started with Beamish and Crawford when he went to England in 1954 at 11 years of age to start work. Yeah, yeah. 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 as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He spent 19 years working in England and eventually came back to Cork. Liam started working in the brewery in 1974 at a time when Dave Toomey was bottling manager. He was only given six weeks work before we met Goal. <laughs> that was too long. Hang on, hang on for it. It's out of potential. He was subsequently called back but didn't take up the offer as he didn't realise at the time that being called back twice made you permanent. <laughs> <laughs> in, <laughs> instead, instead he spent the next eight years working for Ferrero on the Kinsale Road. Anyway, in 1985, Liam was celebrating the Carling, the Carling Country Music Festival in Jories when he was spotted by his former boss at Beamish and Crawford, Dave Toomey. As it turned out, Liam was looking for work. Dave sent him on an application form, and he was interviewed on a Saturday morning by Fergus O'Connor and Liam O'Donovan. He started work on a Monday morning, and has, with, has been with Beamish and Crawford since then. His first 78 years were in transport, and then he worked mainly in bottling, but also in kegging, CO2 filling and engineering. Now, on to Liam, the man himself. Most people who know Liam know that he's big into the fishing and has enjoyed... <laughs> <laughs> and has enjoyed many an opening with the BNC Fishing Club. However, some in the fishing club reckon Liam should have been a lumberjack rather than a fisherman. <laughs> As he catches more trees than fish. <laughs> all, the lad, all the lads are sick of giving him hooks. <laughs> Another passion of Liam's is soccer. And Gerald and Athletic as well. <laughs> in his early days, in the tradition of the great centre forwards, he earned the name Liam. Not a no. <laughs> However, the story goes that his football career was cut short by a tackle from none other than the legendary Dennis Law, <laughs> which damaged his knee. <laughs> um, Liam obviously didn't take this tackle personally, as he is well known as a big Man United fan. In my short time working with Liam, I would have to say that he's a gentleman to work with, always in good form, and a man who takes a lot of pride in his work. His work colleagues have great time for Liam and all speak well of him. Liam asked me to keep the speeches short, as we have a, a musician down there in the, in the corner. So, uh, to get on with it, I would now like to take this opportunity on behalf of everyone in Beamish and Crawford to wish Liam a long, healthy and happy retirement. And now, to show our appreciation for Liam's service, on behalf of the company, I would like to present you with this chairman.
No, Jim McCarthy has a presentation from Liam from his colleagues. Thanks, Jim. And to Liam's wife, Anesh, to acknowledge the support you gave to, gave to Liam throughout his years in Beamish and Crawford, Jory Keoghan will now present you with a bouquet of flowers as a token of our thanks to you.